Sorry, Tooth Fairy. In this plastic tooth-shaped uh, container, I hold the baby teeth of um, various children. And don't you worry, they're my children. My wife has always wanted me to use these baby teeth in some sort of jewelry, and in honor of Mother's Day, that is exactly what I'm gonna do in this video. But I am wondering, like, is this weird? I think for people watching this video, it's either going to be cool and tender and sentimental, or maybe produce a little bit of an ick. And you know, it was actually pretty common like in the Victorian era for them to make jewelry out of like hair and teeth. So, I mean, it might be kind of weird now in 2024, but let's go ahead and give it a shot. The first thing I'm going to do is shape the teeth. Essentially, I want them to lay in the ring like cabochon gemstones. So they will need to be flat on the bottom. I'll use a diamond wheel to accomplish the task. The shape of the smaller baby teeth were reminding me of a tapered baguette diamond. Using the wheel, I can make that shape more pronounced. I used to brush these teeth like in the mouths of my children and now I'm grinding them down with a diamond wheel. Definitely a little trippy. Now the largest baby tooth, it sort of looks like a cushion cut. For the design, I want that to go in the center and it will be flanked by each one of the baguette baby teeth. To fit Brooke's aesthetic, I'm going to design this ring in a vintage style, with maybe a slight nod to the Victorian era. Next, I'm going to grow the ring design using my 3D printer. And imagine trying to explain that to someone from the Victorian era. I here possess an enchanted box that can conjure items out of thin air. I'll now prepare to cast this ring in 14 karat gold. I'll do this by first sprueing up the ring with a hot wax pen. This will serve as the entry point for the gold during the casting. I'll then cover the sprue base with a perforated flask. With the ring now fully enclosed, it's time to make a mold of it. We do this by mixing water and investment powder together. After the initial mixing, I'll throw it onto the investment table, which uses a plastic dome and suction to remove air from the mixture. I'll then pour it down into the flask, and then suck out more air bubbles. I then leave it to cure for a couple of hours, and then I'll remove the sprue base and throw it into the burnout oven. After 12 hours or so, the resin ring model has completely burned out of the mold. This means I can drop the flask down into my vacuum casting machine and get ready to pour some liquid gold down into the flask. I will cut off the gold button, which is basically just the excess gold from the casting. This will surely be recycled and used for other projects. At this point, I want to blend that area where the casting button was, so I use a hand file for that. A sanding wheel will smooth out the casting and create a nice semi-polish. The ring is clamped, and I begin to cut the seats for those baby teeth. So the baby tooth is almost falling down perfectly into the setting. It could probably do it with just a little bit of pressure, but the thing is, I really don't know how much pressure I'm allowed to do without the tooth breaking or chipping. Rather than risk it, I think I'm just going to continue to shape it down ever so slightly until it falls down into the setting perfectly. I knew you guys wanted to see more teeth grinding. And that is fitting just beautifully. I'll use a copper hammering tool to slowly bend these little prongs or tabs over the tooth. Both the baguette teeth are set down into place and everything is looking just great. 
Now it's time to add the Big Mama Tooth. Or Big Baby Tooth. Big Mama Baby Milk Tooth. Like before, I will tighten down the little gold prongs around the tooth to make everything nice and secure. You know, honestly, this is looking pretty cool and everything has gone really smoothly. That is, up until now. I noticed a very faint hairline fracture running straight through the center baby tooth. And then suddenly, and sadly, the tooth broke in half. But the universe was kind to me this day. A creative pivot burst into my mind. The sapphire. You see, this is not just some ordinary sapphire. This is a beautiful green and blue sapphire that I've been literally holding onto for over a decade. For years, my wife has seen this sapphire just laying around the shop and has always asked me, when are you gonna make me something with this? Well, Brooke, uh, I think today is the day. To top it all off, it was nearly a perfect fit, which pretty much describes our relationship, you know? Am I flirting through a YouTube video with my wife? Yes, yes I am. Brooke knew I was having an issue with the center tooth, but she wasn't exactly sure how I had fixed it. I surprised her with it on Mother's Day. She was absolutely floored, so happy that I used both the sapphire she's always been wanting and baby teeth from our beautiful children. I seriously love my job. Oh children, it's time to brush your teeth. Okay dad, so we don't get cavities? Cavities? No, 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 you see I'm gonna put these teeth on a gold ring one day and I want them to look nice for it. 